back to my channel and another video so i'm going to be doing a what i eat in a day i realized i've not done a video in absolutely ages i've had a little break off youtube but i'm back i'll probably give you a little mini update later on but first of all it is saturday today 20 past day i am just about to have breakfast now i've obviously just had my coffee and I'm starting a workout class on a Saturday and I'm going to go with my friends. Although it's a workout class, they're also like measuring me. It'll be good to see like the measurements between the start of the month as it's now the start of March, 2nd of March today. And then we'll do it again at the end of the month. So I'll definitely keep you updated. I am obviously now tracking properly. I'm eating in a calorie deficit. Quick rundown on the calorie deficit. So now it's 1,800. Actually, I think it was before. So look, 127 grams of protein, 29 or 30 grams of fiber I aim for, and then um, obviously eating in a deficit. So this is my goals, and I try and drink a litre and a half of water every day. So yes, let's get into the video. I'm about to grab my breakfast now. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, a pug uh, apron. <laughs> he got it for me for um, is it my birthday or something. I don't know but how cute I literally wear it when I'm cooking in the kitchen probably needs a wash actually also Estee actually made my husband made some fresh bread yesterday which is random I know so we've got this like loaf of bread I did track it on my fitness pack I'm gonna have this with some avocado I don't want to think too much because obviously I'm going to do like a high intensity workout class it's only 30 minutes but I know it's gonna be so hard I've literally not done a class in absolute Yes. And then my other workouts I still do at home in my little home gym if you was wondering. So anyway, I need to get some breakfast time in. So I'm just going to have a slice of this, about 20 grams or 15 grams of fair cheese, which I'll weigh out. And I've got some avocado, which has just got lemon in there. So I'm just going to season this, weigh everything on my scales, and that's going to be breakfast. <laughs> calories i tried this bread yesterday it was so nice i just know it's gonna taste so good i would usually try and make my breakfast more higher in protein this is more like a high fiber breakfast but I, like i said i don't want to eat too much because i'm going to a workout class so i'll make sure i have like a good like, filling lunch so yeah i'm gonna eat this then get going i am back from the class i actually really enjoyed it I, like you just definitely push yourself more in a workout class my legs are feeling like jelly so yeah happy to do that every saturday and i get to catch up with my friend that i used to work with also i'm dog sitting my friend's dogs oh i'll show you they're so cute so here's mine frankie frankie this is frankie and this is bruno bruno and this is so adorable they are going back today we've had them for like three four days so i just went to the shop got milk i got some um wholemeal bread flour because i'm going to use a bread maker to make wholemeal bread um some yeast i think we have some some more eggs so yeah anyway i'm just gonna have a shower now uh get ready for the day and i'll let you know what i'm having for lunch so here's all my lunch ingredients a big potato for a jacket potato which i'm gonna use spray of oil some salt pepper and put this in the air fryer um, in with the tuna so i'm just going to use this tin of tuna i'm going to like finely dice one pepper and a small onion then instead of having mayo i'm going to do like my own salad dressing basically just some greek yogurt it's lower in calories higher in protein um with one squeeze of lemon some dill this is like a really good little combo for a salad dressing or whatever dressing so this is going to go in with the tuna and that's obviously going to go with my jacket potato. I've also got some coleslaw and some salad that I'm going to pair with this. So it's going to be really filling and high in protein with like using the tuna.
coleslaw because I feel like this is like a nice creamy consistency with everything I've got in the tuna. I'm just gonna have some cheese. I was gonna grate cheddar, but I can't be able to grate it. And this is already pre-done, so I'm just gonna have um, 20 grams of this over the jacket and I'm so excited. Couple of minutes and it's all done. is done oh my god this looks amazing and huge i think it's around 600 calories but i'll put it on screen i would usually have like a smaller jacket I'm trying to like mix everything in but yeah i was saving these potatoes for like big jacket potatoes so i'm about to go and enjoy lunch now so i'm gonna start prepping dinner because it's gonna go in the slow cooker and high for around three to four hours so it's a chicken cheesy broccoli like pasta bake so i'm just gonna weigh out the chicken and then all my other ingredients are weighed out and ready to go so i've got the milk a vegetable stock two onions one whole head of broccoli some grated cheese which i'm gonna put in there first and i am gonna top it with cheese after when it's cooked um, I'm going to put the whole tub of this soft cheese reduced fat lighter version. This is for me, see, and easy. So this is for three portions and it's going to work out around 600 calories and it seems like it's going to be like a really decent portion. So I'm going to get this all in now. This chicken breast that I'm using for dinner, I need to use it today. It's got today's date on it. So there's more chicken than what I thought. So that's obviously more calories, more protein, which is good. Um, I'm still within my calories for the day. I'm still like with it, like under my goal. Um, but I just don't really have much for snacks. But to be honest, I prefer to eat like bigger meals and have less snacks. I just feel like I'm more satisfied that way. But obviously, um, you would lower the portions, like lower the pasta or lower the chicken if you wanted this meal to be less calories. Hopefully it's good. It's the first time I'm doing it. So I'm literally just going to chop it all now, throw it in. I'll show you as I'm putting it in and I'll put the recipe in the description. If it's good, I'll let you know. <laughs> and the stuff squeeze of lemon some garlic onion salt pepper if you've got mixed herbs just use mixed herbs i just don't at the moment so i'm just going to put this in leave it to cook and then about 30 40 minutes before i am about to dish dinner that's what i'm going to put in the pasta and the uh, extra cheese so here's everything all mixed in and i'm just going to leave that now so I've just put in 40 grams of cheese. This is looking so good. And I've added the pasta about 30 minutes ago. I've just checked it's all cooked. So here is dinner. I'll pop the calories on screen. It's definitely really high in protein. Obviously, I ended up using like so much chicken breast. But yeah, excited for this. Hello, good morning. It's actually the next day. I forgot to end the video yesterday. I literally had that dinner. It was so nice, so filling. And then I just watched Tally and went to bed. So I am just going to go over yesterday's like, total calories and macros and everything. Yesterday, I ended on 1,745 and my goal is 1,800. So that is perfect. My protein was 144 grams, so slightly over, which is good. I mainly got that because there was about 78 grams of protein in that dinner, and like that is a lot, and 19 grams of fiber. So the protein and fiber is what I focus on. So happy with that. Quick update on the weight losses. Now that I am back on track and everything, um, last week I lost three pound, and this week I lost half a pound or 0.6 pound, if you want to be exact. I haven't really been on YouTube a lot, obviously I've had a couple of months off. Obviously I don't want to get into it too much, but I uh, lost both my nan and granddad recently um, through, you know, December, January and February, just one good months. Obviously I wasn't focusing on 
you know, recording, tracking calories really, anything like that. So I just wanted a break, which is what I did. And also starting a new job. I'm sure I've mentioned on other videos. I'm not sure if I mentioned in this video, but I work nine till four, Monday to Friday now. So it's just a big change in routine. I've worked in my last job for almost 12 years. Like working in a bar, restaurant, being super active on my feet, like a really hectic, busy lifestyle basically. And it's just, I've just gone the complete opposite now, which is great. It's exactly what I was looking for. But you know, you've just got to find your feet when you like change jobs, find a new routine. So I'll just quickly go through it because I don't want to ramble on for like 10 minutes. So my deficit is still 1,800. I tried to drop it to 1,700 and I was just so hungry and I just felt like restricted. I know it's only 100 calories, but this is obviously working for me because I'm losing weight still. Um, work out three days a week, aim for 8,000 steps a day, which is obviously less than before. And I'm now posting on YouTube every Sunday, which is once a week, and I'll continue to upload every Sunday. So yeah, I'm happy to be back on track in a routine, and I'm hoping this is like my last weight loss journey. I don't want to gain and lose and gain and lose like I have been. I just want this to be the last and then be at maintenance whenever that may be. I'm not going to put a time limit on myself, be too strict on myself. Um, but yeah, I will keep you updated on the weekly video. Yeah, I am just going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.